What's up guys, Dan here, and today I have a Premium Gold Infinite Gold box opening, and obviously this is the third installment of the Premium Gold series, so continue on from since 2014 March, we've still been getting Premium Golds every year since. And this one's a little bit different, it varies um, from the previous ones, because mainly in the previous ones there were a lot of collectible reprints, this time around we have more of a um, competitive type reprint thing because like a lot of the cards in this set are you know conceding competitive play were demanded quite a lot like Digest Emerald, um, uh, Lightning Chidori and things like that you know those things were not printed a lot of in the past and obviously now they're getting the reprint in here and also recently the um, main archetypes like Cosmos and Burning Abyss have seen reprints in this so yeah this will be quite a nice set to open. Um, I do imagine that there'll be a lot of short prints in this. I haven't done a full opening yet, but I've already seen in the first few boxes that I didn't get much um, of the you know sought after like uh, Giant Land, Beatrice, uh, Cosmo Dark Destroyer, things like that. So essentially, it's not as easy to get some of these. So still. Won't be expecting too much. And also on another side, note there's um instead of one big pack in Europe, you get fifteen card packs, you get three five card packs, so kinda of changed up there a little bit. Um I don't know why they did that for. I guess maybe to increase demand through I guess some sense that people think they're getting more for their money. I d I don't know. I don't really see the thing as obviously more packs means more, you know money, I guess. I don't know what uh, anyway, let's go into the first pack. So, let's see how we do. I'll put that over there. Uh, remove brainwashing. There we go. Uh, Drahig. Bahamut Shark, that's actually a needed reprint. King's Consonance and Treacherous Trap Pole. So, off to a somewhat mediocre start. Nothing too fantastic there. Obviously, I'll be looking for anything like Cosmo Dark Destroyer, uh, Maxi, or things like that. Dark Mirror Force, Barber, Lightning Shidori, that's nice. Magical King Moonstar, and a Cosmo Dark Fighter. Unfortunately, not the one that I was looking for, but oh well. Anyway, on to the final pack of this mini box. We have a Radiant Mirror Force, a Dante Pilgrim of the Burning Abyss, very nice. Uh, Consider Ptolemy M7. Actually needed a reprint, but it's I don't think it's seeing any play anyway, so. Uh Junk Karibo and a Black Corn of Heaven. Okay. So nothing too fantastic so far. Um and move this over here. Anyway, let's move on to the next box. Hopefully, fingers crossed I can actually get one of the saw after cards, because I know that the um Cosmo stuff came in Gold Secret, obviously showing the dog fighter there. So all the Cosmo stuff came in Gold Secret, which would be quite nice to look at. Um, Fairy Wind, Virgil rocks out the burning this. Evil Swarm Ouroboros, another needed reprint. Uh, Dark Advance and a Cosmo Good Witch. So that's one of them, but not really sought after to be honest. Um, I'm looking for Farm Girl or. Dark Destroyer, really. It's the only two. Um, breakthrough Skill. Dante Trap of the Bunny Biss, very nice. Good pull. Number 61 Vocosaurus, also very nice. Uh, Phantasmal Lord Ultimal. And a Fire Hand. Unfortunately, not relevant anymore since. Um, what was it? Hat, wasn't it? Yeah. Hands. Uh, hands, Artifacts, Trap Tricks. That's the one. That kind of anti meta type deck. Um, anyway, mistake. Turn into the Burning Abyss. Norito, the moral leader. Actually, also another wanted reprint. A Angmar, the Fiendish Monarch, and a Cosmo Town. So I'm getting Cosmo Gold Secrets, but not the ones I want. But anyway, we'll get onto the third mini box. Actually, it takes quite a while to get through these. And on to the next. Three packs. We'll just 
display a little bit better. Three packs, really nice. Oops. So we have a Cow Cow Malbranch of the Benny Bus, Magister Paladin, the Ascending Dracus Slayer, and a Dig Vorzark King of Her Industry. That's one of the uh, prize cards, I think. It's my first one of that. A number 37 Hope Woven Dragon Spider Shark, and a Cosmo Slip Rider. So still no Dark Destroyer, no good um, Farm Girl, no Emerald, um, Blazing Mirror Force, Fire Lake of the Burning Abyss, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, very nice. That just came out recently. Um, yeah, it's definitely quite expensive. Uh, Sukomo Slash and a Ice Hand to go along with Fire Hand. Okay, and the third pack of this third box. Let's see what we get. Ooh, Stormy Mirror Force, very nice. Very good card. Traveling in the Burning Abyss. Castell the Sky Blast next here. I mean, really came out in the Mega Tin, so didn't really need it, I guess. Uh, Dark Advance and Horn of Heaven. I'm going to go to the fourth box now. Um, going through these. Quite slow, actually. I do hate this type of packaging that you get along with all these packs. I mean, it's just, yeah, just annoying, really. And to be honest, compared to the um, American versions where you get that kind of a box type of design where you can, you know, they slot in, it's kind of all just wrapped up. It doesn't look exactly great. Anyway, <clears throat> we have a Cagna Mel Branch of the Burning Abyss. Red Eyes Flare Metal again. Wow. Second one, uh, Shard Ride, Shard Ride, Shared Ride, uh, Red Supremacy, and a Deep Dark Trap Hole. Still looking for any of those sort after cards, hopefully. Um, Libich, Mount Branch of the Burning Abyss, another Castell, Marsh Change, Phantom Knights of Shade, Brig, I can't even read that, and Cosmo Wicked Witch. So, already it's showing to be quite difficult to. Any of the Cosmo um, Dark Destroyers or Farm Girls. Anyway, Farfa, Norito the Moral Leader, Spell Shattering Arrow, number 35, the new number card, and a Cosmo Strawman. I guess that's not too bad, but still not as good as, you know, other things. I mean, I think Strawman's not even used in many builds. I think it's maybe a one of. Um, I do believe the. Tin Can's probably the, the one that's used in free is. And last three packs. Let's see what we can get. A Drahig Malbranch of the Burning Abyss. Magister Paladin the Ascended Dracus there. That's nice. Monarch Stormforth. Stardust Charge Warrior. And a Cosmo Forerunner. I think I've got every other Cosmo Farm. Uh, Cosmo Farm. Cosmo card other than Farm Girl or. Um, Dark Destroyer. It's kind of annoying. Anyway, second to last pack. Barber. A Gaga Gaga Cowboy. Marsh Change 2. Frost Blast of the Monarchs. And a Grand Horn of Heaven. Unfortunately, nothing there. And for the final pack, hopefully we can get something good. Oh, Dante. Pilgrim of the Burning Race. I guess that's something. Um, Abyss Dweller. Mistaken arrest, actually, it's quite. That came out in um, Crash of uh, Clash of Rebellions, wasn't it? Yeah, Secret Rare. Uh, Angmar, the Fiendish Monarch, and a Cosmo Town, so nothing too fantastic there, I guess. And maybe the Mistaken Arrest, but. Um, actually, got a Stormy Mirror Force, I guess that's good. Along with two Red Eyes Fair Metals, that was pretty sick. But yeah, that was pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to obviously, you know, like the video if you did like it. Comment down below to see, tell me what I could do better, or anything you enjoyed about this. Um, also, before I get to mention, I do have my eBay shop. It's in the description below, linked there. You can click to it, and it will send you all the cards. I think I, I'll pretty much have all the things listed by the time you watch this video. So, yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in a future video.